Let's put the cameras back on. <laughs> We're here in Prague, Czech Republic. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My name is Kenny Nelson. <laughs> All right. Teaching uh, West Coast swing here. So first things that we were starting off with is we were talking about in our triple steps and our footwork about really thinking about relaxing, about softening up our steps. And we were just practicing just one trip, one step, trip, full step, trip, full step, trip, full step, and then for our starter, what we had was a Triple to the side, triple pull forward. And I should still allow him some breathing room to go. And one, two, three, uh, four, five, and six. We'll show that one more time. If we angle all the way through, so we had a one and two, three and four and five, six, seven and eight, nine and ten. So again, softening up, softening up the arms a lot. Talking a lot about the connection with the backs. Uh, catch us. And then after that, we were doing some work with the under and pass, talking to the women about really owning the floor right there. Leaders, I'm thinking about going with her a little bit, so then I'm slowing her down right there. Okay. And then we were talking about relaxing the arms, and really thinking about facing each other and sharing the squat, I'm really getting out of her way so that she can continue her movement. Then what we were doing is we were doing a little bit of an arm drag where I'm thinking about getting the hand, or actually putting my head underneath where the hands were. We had some questions about where does my footwork go? Well, I'm really thinking about making connections. That is really soft, and then I'm just going to complete that with the right to right hand side pass down the slot. We were then taking that and doing this move, which you actually come to the Parker Dearborn. Um, one, two, three, and four. Five and six, darn silver slot right there. We'll try that one more time. So we're going one, two, three, and four. We're going to freeze on six. Talk so about leaders about keeping this connection down so we're connected into the back. Same thing for the followers. Yeah. And then what's happening is I'm still making sure I'm bringing her down. One, pivot, step two, three, and four, five, and six. And as I'm pivoting, I'm really making sure I'm continuing the momentum down the line over her head. All right. I think from there we were getting into whip snacks. So we were taking everybody to the side with us, and we were talking about the four, about hanging back, not making a weight change on count four. We were going one, two, three, and four. We were talking about a little bit of being perpendicular to ourselves, and then just going and five, six, seven, and eight. So one more time. Two, three, uh, four, and five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, talk to the leads a, a little bit about making sure that they were continuing to shape the dance by inviting her down the side right there. And also talked about if you want to keep the ladies in the slot, please keep your hand in the slot. And a lot of the ladies it felt like you wanted me to lead you into that. But rather than you waiting for the lead, just trust that he initiates your momentum and you want to continue your momentum that way. So if he doesn't catch you, you can keep so we had a one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we moved on to a whip that comes from Benji Schwimmer that featured a little bit of compressing the spring. And what do we call whips here? Check up on we call like beach. <laughs> Alright. So we had a one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We were talking to the leads that they need to think about leaving the hand, the right hand slightly behind them, and then really thinking about getting the left side towards the woman's left side, five, and then six. We were doing some other variations with this, so one, two, three, uh, four, compress, release, trip, pull, step, we were allowing the woman to have most of the energy. We also had a one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, and eight, where I was trying to do most of the movement, and then we had two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We kind of had a little bit of sneaking up on the follow right there. I stayed in the connection so that I can move towards my follow. All right. And then we had the twist whip variation. We had an underarm pass, making the connection with the upper arm, sliding down the inside. So notice that the right hand fingers are pointed downwards right there. And then we were going one, two, three, uh, four, five. Six, 
7 and 8. We're going to try that one more time. Triangle. 3, uh, 4, 5, uh, 6, and a 1. 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. All right, so that's the twisted whip. Final thing. All right. Um, we didn't really talk about how to get into left to left. One way might be here, but we're getting into left to left. We're actually teaching it from a handshake hold and, and teaching them, uh, talking to the leaders about having contra body twist, which is a little bit. Contra body twist is slightly larger. So this is, if we look at this, this is a half prep, full prep release of the girl. All right, talking about making connection right there and lower back. And then sending the follows out, making connection right from down so we have the waist and then I'm getting out of the way, trip, pull, step. Trip, pull, step. All right, got some crazy hair going on. Uh, one more time, different angle. And we have a one, two, three, uh, four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten, and one more time. Bum, bum, bum. One, two, three, uh, four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten. I think that wraps it up. Yes? All right, cool. Thank you, everybody.